about this. Isn't it funny how they always want to take you somewhere else? Yeah. When they can't find whatever they want from you, they can't get whatever they want, they can't get you to say whatever they want you to say, they always got to incorporate somebody else. Amen. Now, rule of thumb, if they take, if they ain't agreeing with you and they taking you to somebody they recommending, don't go. They ain't going to agree with you. <laughs> don't go. Rule of thumb on that one, y'all. Just keep Come that in mind, you young people. Come on. They take. Remember that for later on. So, they brought him to who they brought him who had been blind to the Pharisees. It was a Sabbath when Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. Oh my God, he's working on Sunday. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Again, therefore, the Pharisees also asked him how he received his sight. He said to him, he said to them, he put mud on my eyes. I washed. And I see. Y'all know this brother is jumping up and down. Y'all know this brother is stomping. Y'all know he, he cabbage patching my head. He, he, he moonwalking and everything. Y'all know you all. He, he, he. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, they ain't whipping at all, man, because he is seeing. And, 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 and instead of being able to go out and look and see what the flowers look like and look and see what the trees look like and look and see what the animals look like and look and see what his babe, his bull look like, they got to sit here and deal with these ignoramuses going, how do you do? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I ain't no doctor. I ain't no doctor. <laughs> it don't Ain't nobody asked. Ain't nobody said congratulations. No. Nobody rejoiced. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody said hallelujah. So some therefore, some therefore the Pharisees said, this man is not from God because he doesn't keep the Sabbath. Oh, if you don't worship the Bible like I say worship the Bible, then you ain't worshiping the Bible. You can't and your it. God is a dead God. Yeah. And let me tell you something else, sir. Uh, when I tell you that my Bible says that you have to stand on your left foot to, and drink with your right hand as you smoking your joint behind your head, that's the only way you be able to do it. Well, it you guilty. Y'all laughing. Yeah. I have heard sermons. Mind you preaching, man. Religious folks. Religious. Yeah. Say it again, first lady. Religious. Religious. <laughs> Others said, how can a man who is a sinner do such signs? There was division among them. Now, in today's climate, <laughs> there is somewhat of a division going on. Yeah. I don't mean between Democrats and Republicans. I mean between those who say they love the Lord Yet they can back someone who clearly does have has no idea who or what the Lord is. Come on. I ain't trying to get your church from it. This is all on me, y'all, so this ain't that. Therefore, they asked the blind man again, what do you say about him because he opened your eyes? <laughs> he said, dude, is all that and a bowl of chili too, man. Right? <laughs> he is a prophet. He is someone sent from God. He is someone anointed by God. He is someone who is known by God. That's all I know about it. I had to ask somebody his name. You know? It ain't like I had ever seen him before. <laughs> well, please forgive me. I ain't trying to go with him. So, now they said, therefore they asked the man, oh, he said, the Jews therefore did not believe concerning him that he had been blind. Hold on, stop right there. This was back in the day when they had taxi cabs, Uber, and Lyft. When they took him this same day, because we know it's the same day, because they're talking about what happened earlier. When they took him from where he got healed to where the, the Pharisees were, had to be just a matter of a mile or two at the most. What a whole lot of people, they knew that this man was born blind. They knew who this man was. They knew who this man's parents were. Yet they gonna still say, was he really born blind? See, when I stand up and I tell you what I'd like to do with him without impunity, that I feel I can take whatever I want, and I can say whatever I want, and I can do whatever I want, and I've done this, and that I've practiced that, and I've done this, and then when people come up and they say that I did this to them, you, I can't say you lie. Yeah, I didn't do it. Preach, man. Come on. I cannot, speak. as a believer, as a follower, as a hopeful to get to heaven, say, no, no, they are all mine. All 172,000 of them. All of them. 
Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I got you work it, man. You yeah. work it, Doc. So, uh, that he and had received his sight until they called the parents of him who had received his sight. How you know who he was? If you go get his book, if you ain't know who he was, I never, I've never, I've never met Putin. Putin. Never met him. Putin and I spent a whole lot of time together, and we were very, very good friends, and we got to know each other. He called me Brady, so of course I'm gonna call him Brady, but. I've never met that man. I don't know anything about him. I don't know who David Duke is. I don't know anything about a white supremacy movement. I'm sorry, y'all. They said, uh, and ask them, is this, I'm on verse 19, and ask them, is this your son whom you say was born blind? How then does he see now? His parents answered them, we know that this is our son, and we know that he was born blind. But how he now sees, we don't know, or who opened his eyes, we don't know. He is of age, ask him. He will speak for himself. Hey, okay, I'm gonna tell you one more time. This is my son, yes, you knew this. We are neighbors, you know, we live across the street from each other. Yes, he used to be blind, you come tell me, get your little blind son out of my garden, please. And yes, now he can see. That's what I know. They just came and told us, man, I was, it ain't like, I mean, my Twitter feed was down, you know. I ain't checked Facebook all day. <laughs> so I'm just now finding out myself. Here he is. He's my son. He's honest. He ain't no liar. Ask him. Ask him. Right? Ask him. Now, his, uh, uh, his parents said these things because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that if any man would confess him as Christ, he would be put out of the synagogue. Couple, I got about five points I want to make on this real quick. Feared the, 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 they feared them. They feared the leaders. They feared the religious leaders. They feared the people who were most supposed to comfort them. They feared the people who were most supposed to represent them. They feared the people who most were supposed to love them and exhibit love and show them how to love and, and be able to execute the things that needed to be executed so that love could be affected. They most feared them. Because, <coughs> excuse me, uh, they feared the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that any man who confessed him as Christ should be put out of the synagogue. Now, there were two things to be put out of the synagogue. Y'all know I like to research. First thing, you'd be put out for 30 days. You could not have any communion, you couldn't do any of the rituals, you couldn't practice any traditions, and in addition to that, you couldn't get any closer to your, your wife or your friends more than four cubits. A cubit is 18 inches, so we're talking about getting no more than six feet, no closer than six feet to your wife <laughs> or your partner. For 30 days. For 30 days. Mm -hmm. The second one, you are excommunicated forever. forever. You won't. You're blind. See, you wouldn't want to be. That's the second one. That's the one we think that the, the scholars, not we, I ain't no scholars, that the scholars think is that what they were threatening them with. Because that's some harsh stuff. You know, I'm going to put you out of the church <laughs> because, uh, you know, we don't talk about the fact that I got caught coming out of somebody's back door one day. <laughs> we don't I, I, I. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Y'all y'all feeling me on this? Am I making any sense? I know everybody's asleep right now. That's why I'm screaming to try to keep everybody up. So, yeah, so, therefore his parents said he is of age to ask him. Ain't it a Funny thing that even your parents are afraid to take some punishments Come concerning on. the religious leaders Come on. in order to protect you. Everybody in here would take a bullet for their child. But not everybody in here would stand up to their past and say, man, you need to get up off my child's case. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. I guess that's another reason I don't have a church right now. <laughs> anyway, that's probably <coughs> I, I, I have a what's it called brutal honesty rather than tactful honesty. So, uh, so they said to him, and he answered them. Then they said to him again. Oh, so they called the man who was blind the second time and said to him, "Give glory to God." <laughs> Don't y'all know this man ain't been doing nothing but giving glory to God? He let everybody. Hey, I can see. Who are you? Let me speak. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can catch you by your voice. Tony, what's up, man? I didn't know you were so tall, man. So. 